Hello there everybody, my name is Michael Gray and today I am trying out Jane Austen's A State of Affairs. The last time I tried out a Jane Austen game it was Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, which was not a very good game, I sort of got stuck on the tutorial, but this is apparently a better game. Looks like it's made by the BBC and Legacy Games and Dragon's Eye Studios. Isn't the BBC like a television station, British broadcasting channel? Well, I can hear stuff. I can't see anything. Oh, don't tell me I've messed up this early into the game. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, so clicking around managed to make the screen appear. Let's go with Argle Fump. And let's get started. Let's try easy mode. Because this is a demo, I'll probably only play for 10, 15 minutes before stopping. You know, as opposed to this being a video walkthrough where I go through the entire game. I'm just trying out the game. I've never played this game before. I have no idea what it's like. Uh, apparently it has something to do with Jane Austen and her estate and loading screens. Lots of loading the screens. The raged as we raced towards Charton Village, home to my dear late aunt, the respected novelist, Miss Jane Austen. I had just received news that my aunt's family must vacate Charton, forced out by a rival claim on my uncle Edward's estate. But I had a plan. If I could find Aunt Jane's missing final manuscript, the proceeds of its sale would save the estate from the grasping Bingham family. What? I am Miss Christiana Austin, Mr. Edwards' niece. I'm Mrs. Norton, the new housekeeper. Mr. Edwards not due back till tomorrow. You'll have to come back then. But I have nowhere to stay, and the storm grows fierce. Well, I wasn't left orders to let anyone in. Good evening, miss. But I must get inside if I wish to start my search tonight. Okay, so this is about Jane Austen, the person, rather than Jane Austen, the author? Crazy! I thought this would be about a Jane Austen book. Okay, so I can pick up something. Okay, pretty, pretty useful. Uh, oh no, hidden objects. Uh, oh no. Okay, so it looks like I need to click on everything on the list. Like this, this, that. Okay, I got that. Okay, this is a hammer. That thing, that thing. This isn't so bad. I can handle this. Coins. Thingy. So did Jane Austen really have a uh, hidden manuscript in real life? Probably not. I don't know. A sickle. I can... Okay, question mark means I can interact. Okay, use the sickle. There we go. Okay, why am I gathering planks? I mean, I've got a lot of planks here. Okay, use the hammer on the squirrel. Oh, okay. So we're gonna try to sneak into the house. Uh, uh, oh, that's what I need the planks for. It's too dark. What do you mean it's too dark? I can see stuff, clearly. Okay, something behind the bush, sickle on the bush. Right, I have water, I have planks. Can I use planks yet, or... No. It's too dark. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I got it! Okay, I got an acorn. I imagine I have to use that on the squirrel. Which gives me... Stuff. A dirty cloth. So I imagine I use the cloth... No, 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 I clean the cloth. Use the cloth on the water. I've seen puzzles like these before, that's how I know what to do. 
I use the cloth here. Now it's bright and I can see that this is a ladder, so I put the planks down and I use the hammer, right? Oh, I still need nails. Keyhole pieces? What? Hairpin? Do I use the hairpin here? Oh dear, this looks like a puzzle. Bravo, Frank Austin. I'm a master inventor and quite enigmatic. I'll help you decipher my door lock schematic. Uncover the cover, unlock the lock, then locate and handle the pieces I've stocked. <laughs> Frank Austin. Right. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's 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 a, a made-up character. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. What am I doing here? Hint, hint, hint button, help me out. Hmm, well, it didn't explain the notes, but we've seen notes in other games, right? Oh, not a lot of notes. So I guess I just wait for the hint button to refill. Okay, I clicked it. I'm hearing noise. I put the keyhole pieces there. Is that it? I can't interact with these items. I can't interact with that thing. Okay, well, the hint button is leading me elsewhere. What is this? Maybe this gives me what I need. Keys. Or the metal piece. What do you mean you have no use for keys? What? You totally have uses for keys. We have locked doors. Oh. Our hero is crazy. Alright, so the screw goes in there. Right, so what do I do now? The note is the key to the puzzle. The note... The cover... Okay, that wasn't very helpful. Um, I imagine I build the pieces from bottom to top. No. The keyhole pieces should fit through... I don't know, I'm skipping the puzzle. Alright, so that's the key. I have the little upside-down key. And I think this should be the end of the demo. Oh wait, is it not upside-down? No, I need it upside-down. I need the upside-down one. Upside-down one. No, 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 can I get back? I have the wrong key, and it won't let me get the right key. Oh, dear. Alright, take two. Take two. And another hidden objects challenge. Okay, so I'm going to leave now. This has been me playing Jane Austen's A State of Affairs. Seems like a somewhat interesting game. I don't think I'll buy the full game and play it all the way. Ten minutes was enough for me, but it seems like it'd be interesting. I could understand if some people liked it, but... I don't really feel like this is the sort of game that I would like to play.